So March break is here for a lot of Canadians, and many people are worried about holiday spending, especially with the loony so low. Scott Peterson is one of them. He joins us now here on the weekends. We're lucky to have him here, I'm, joining us I'm live in studio this Any Monday to Friday. Guy. I have to stand opposite you. Is okay. Great. Well, we are looking at last-minute travel options. So, what have you found? I found that I'm a, a very cheap person, and I, I think a lot of people are in the same boat because you know the loony's low. We're not getting the bang for for a dollar. So, I thought I'd go out and have some fun with numbers to try to find the most entertaining thing to do for the cheapest amount of money possible. So this is a new segment called Fun With Numbers. Check it out. Out of the country, somewhere warm, four, four of us. So, what kind of premium yeah. am, am I looking at? You're probably looking around 50% on top of what would normally be a very high priced um, holiday anyway. March break, basically any time when the kids are on vacation, you're going to be paying a premium to do that. <sighs> Better think of a plan B. Okay, clearly I've missed the boat here. I'm paying a big premium. The dollar's way lower than it was last year. This got me thinking about staycations. Think about this. This might sound crazy, but March is actually a great time to go ice fishing. And here we are now on the banks of Lake Simcoe. I'm with Rob, Jay's Hut Rental. What are we looking for? Well, today we're gonna go out and do some fishing for uh, some Lake Simcoe gold. Let's do it. All right, well, we're out here. Here we are. And uh, we'll get the drill off the bike. We'll drill you a hole and uh, get set up to do some fishing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at you. This fish is slapping me around. Oh, there's a couple of perch down there. What a fish. It's so beautiful, you know, and, and you look around you and it, it it is so unique to Canada. You think about how many places have the ability to go out, sit on a lake and walk on a lake and we're blessed with that in this country. Hey guys, come on over here, we'll try this site. I hope you got a fish down there looking at it now. Oh, really? Yep. Still? Yeah, you got oh, him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, little guy. Oh, you yeah, I'll take it. You tangled me. I'll take it. <laughs> There's some Simcoe gold. That was a fantastic day out in the ice. I think anybody would be lucky to do it. So just to tally up the numbers, how much this costs, about 20 bucks for gas. I paid $13 for a license. We had lunch for $20. With what you provided all in, bring us us out here, $45. My calculations, that's $98 for a great day out in the ice. And a perch dinner if you're lucky. Boom, that's gold. Is that really the biggest fish that you caught yeah, there, that, 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 was, little, that little perch? Rob, who I was fishing with, he caught a, he caught a bigger one. He kept one for, for dinner, per, those are perch. But yeah, yeah that, was, that was the biggest I got. But you know, anything that comes out of the hole is, is fun. It's just fun being out there. It's just fun, you know, the, the <laughs> ice is interesting and uh, it's just a good day. Yeah, you make it look fun. Okay, so if other people want to try this out, what do they need to know? Well, be safe. I mean, March is good for fishing. The, the light's changing and it's apparently the fish are biting, but be careful out there. Phone ahead, phone the local operator, make sure that they're open, that they're willing to take you out. But Safety first, but a lot of fun if you can find somebody that's open and go out, and it's great for March break, and the kids love it. Great. Thanks so much, Scott. Thanks for sure.